we say that is the first fruit of god in our heart the love of god today love is not on the day emotion. of salvation it's not just a emotion it is not just a action it is not just a spirit but love is a person love is god himself hallelujah love is god himself that's why i shared with you of how god is showing of the church how when love comes on the church poured out on the church she becomes complete in the quality of god reproduced to be like jesus exactly the fullness of christ comes when love of god comes in her heart in the church that is each one of us together each one of us are the church of god so each one So what does that mean? So when the creator your imagination is applied in the physical manifestation. What does that mean? And you go and live in that house, right? You go and live it in that means it is a dream come to pass. So this is God's dream for the church. As the church come to this full full stage where she can she is unveiled the whole word of God is unveiled to her. She understands God's word means she understand the message of God she understand the message of God's love and everything is set and ready the last thing that God puts is himself into it hallelujah himself into it is putting his love in it that's the first proof of showing his identification in us when God's love come in us it is his identification coming in us his identity coming in us in not not in uh, 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 and not in just word not in just saying in the reality in the physical god being with us hallelujah the scripture says if you love me you do my commandments and my father will come and abide in you so he comes and lives in us so when god's love when he puts the love the veil of love on the church on the body of christ and that's what i came to explain that now we are in the time the last days the latter rain moment this is the time where god is putting the last thing on the bride is the love when a bride is set and ready the last thing is to put jewelries on her after she is dressed up and that's the one thing is called love so god is putting his love upon the church it is not just to ad ad adorn her it is to show her beauty of who she is and that when he wears on her you can see him in her so we can see god in the church i'm not just talking about ministries to reveal god's love i'm talking about every individual who is the church of god to reveal god's love to this world it is our responsibility to reveal god's love to in this world when you are revealing god's love in this world it shows a sign and a proof to the world that god is alive he is living he is here that's why when jesus died resurrected he made us co-laborers co-laborers means there was a time when jesus was revealed in the flesh he cannot live with us for all through this 3000 years right jesus cannot live with us for all 3000 years he cannot live with us here got it so he put his spirit in us he put his spirit in us he put his word in us now he put his love in us the completeness of god the fullness of god is in us now i hope you understand these are all hard kind of messages it's not soft kind of messages <laughs> you need to understand and this is timely message you must understand hallelujah so he put those things in us so that we reveal it not keep it in our heart or not keep it in the bible and just live one kind of life just call put a tag of a christian on you and just call yourself as a christian some are born in a, in some homes they call that they are born christians they put that they are christian religion in papers and that settles down for them and they call themselves as christian 
Some others go on and they say, okay, I'm born as a Christian, so I need to go to church. That's our religious practice. So they go every Sunday to church. And that's Christian, Christian for them. Some others go on, they go to church, and uh, they, uh, they now have little passion for God, and they go, they go on reading Bible. Otherwise, the Bible is in the showcase with a candle around it. They live like that. They say that's the Christian life. Some others go on to open it and to start reading some things and just come beyond it and they now understand it's not just limited to candlelight. I am the light. The word in me is the light. And they now get little understanding and they go, go on with saying the truth to others and they say... Say they are Christians. And some others go on knowing the truth Saying the, saying the truth to the world, sharing, and start doing what the Word of God says. Start showing the signs that this is the truth. And start doing, performing miracles, being a minister of God. Performing miracles and uh, opening churches and doing whatever is said in the scriptures. They go on doing it. And they think they are a Christian. And some others go on doing more than that. But who is a true Christian? Who is a real Christian? A real Christian is the one who has, on over all these things, who has the love endured upon them. Who starts with the passion of God's love. Who starts with love for God. And that love is settled and that love is final thing for them. Nothing else. And that's the love God wants to put in the churches. That's the love God wants to put. And that's what authenticates in the last days that this is a church, of a living church of Jesus Christ. We must be a living church, not any other kind of church. Hallelujah. There are several scriptures that talks about you can be doing ministry, you can be acting Christian, you can act so many things. You can be do doing whatever is there, you know. You can demonstrate the power of God. But if you don't have love, you are a nothing church. You are an empty church. So this thing, God is opening. And I know that it's, it's God is doing in other ministries. And they have to be sensitive to understand the love of God. Because it is a timely word that God wants every one of us to understand to walk in love. Why are you struggling to walk in love? Let's turn to Matthew's Gospel chapter 24. Chapter 24, verse 12. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Means the iniquity in this world will increase so much in this time, the love of many shall wax cold. So the love of God, the love, that love ingredient will become cold. Why? Because when people pass through uh, trials, difficulties, their circumstances, their situations, they cannot hold on. And this is the time that the devil tries to put in more and more and more to make sure that you will fall down. Because he is trying his best to get souls for his kingdom, demonic kingdom. He is not sitting quite out there in the world. He's trying his best to get people away from the love of God, to get people away from loving God. And he knows the only way is when people are focused in the things of this world, he can get them out of love, out of walking in love with God. Not just out of being a Christian, but being a true Christian. Devil is not uh, uh, against Christians, just a Christian. He's against Christians that are true, living, and loving Christians who walk in God kind of love. He is really against them. Hallelujah. You understand? So that's, that's what is happening. Now it's getting cold, and, 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 and that's what God is showing, that this is what is happening in the churches, in the body of Christ. The love of God is getting, the love is getting cold. First of all, they don't understand what love is. And on top of it, the love is getting cold. When love is getting cold, whoa, we know that God himself is love. God is love. That's a very big thing to think about. 
God is love. Love is not an emotion. It's not just an emotion. It is not just an action. It is not just a spirit. But love is a person. Love is God himself. Hallelujah. Love is God himself. That's why I shared with you of how God is showing of the church, how when love comes on the church, poured out on the church, she becomes complete in the quality of God, reproduced to be like Jesus. Exactly. The fullness of Christ comes when love of God comes in her heart, in the church. That is each one of us together. Each one of us are the church of God. So each one of us coming together is the church of Christ, the body of Christ. And that love is what must be put in there. Now, a lot of demons are challenging us. Because this love, when it comes, you are revealing the fullness of Christ. You, you see in Ephesians, in the book of Ephesians, you see they're saying that we, the church must come, the body of Christ must come to the fullness measure of Jesus Christ. How can you say a church is in the fullness measure of Jesus Christ? That, uh, what, what does it mean? It means like she is like Jesus. means the church is just like Jesus. You are just like Jesus. To point out and to say you are like Jesus. That Jesus, we can see Jesus in you. What makes, you, what makes people to see that and to say that? It's simple. When they see love of God in you, they see God in you. Because God is love. We are in that period of time. We have to walk in love. If you want to be a true Christian and if you want to please the Father, you have to walk in love. So you have to believe in the word of God because how does love of God come in our heart? It comes by the Holy Spirit. Romans 5 verse 5. The love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, the first thing that happens to every believer, you have all learnt in BTS, First thing that happens to every believer when you begin uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, follow Jesus, believe in Jesus, what happens? The first thing that comes in your heart is the Holy Spirit brings the fruit of love. That's when the birth of love is. And that's the first thing that God seeds in our heart. We say that is the first fruit of God in our heart. That's the first fruit of a Christian life. The love of God. The love of God. See, without love of God in our heart, we cannot love God by our own way, in our own thinking, the way we want. Because we are limited to natural world, and in the natural way, you cannot express your love to God. God has to put his love in us, that we can love him. That's why he sent his spirit, so, so that we can do like him, we can be like him. Because in the scriptures, he says, ye are God's. Because you are children of God. God's children are God's. Right. So for you, to, you, for you to act like God, you need his spirit to act like God. So he put his very own spirit in us. We have his spirit in us. And his spirit's quality is love. Love of God. Hallelujah. Love of God. It is a realm. You know, when, as Christians, when we understand God's love, I said when we are born again, the spirit of God brings love of God in our hearts. And we, when we start walking in love, and the love grows, how that love that he has put in us starts to grow. How does that love grow? It grows as God's word grows, because the word is giving the picture of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you receive, you receive love in faith. I say this to you. Defeat your fears tonight. Otherwise, you're watching Day of Salvation. Stay tuned. We will be right back. As you open and flow in the love of God, nothing is impossible Amen. with you. God is going to move wonderfully with signs and... You hear the sound of our voice from the studio. Get this revelation down in yeah. your heart. You are loved. If you are born again, you are loved. Yes. The time has come yes. for the full manifestation yes. of the love fruit in the body of Christ. This 2014, as you step in, as you hear the sound of our yes. voice from the studio, get this revelation down yeah. in your heart. You are loved. 
satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And He faced the things that we're facing. Passed through the difficulties that we passed through. And was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's Word became flesh. And He died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. the word of God and understand it you hear and understand is very important not just hear understand is important understanding is when the word is love and for us to live a victorious life when you understand who you are there is no life like that Hello? that is revelation revelation means something that is understood and well so it happened it has to do with your Apostle Edmonds here. I'm glad to inform you that our timings for PhD has changed. We're changing the timing September 7th to uh, 3 p.m. downwards. You come with your family and friends and your life will never remain the same. Like we said here earlier on, we pray for the sick and we pray for the first timers and we've seen great things. Transformation, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, success. One of the things the Lord is doing, you see multiples of miracles. Never miss it. PhD, 3 p.m. every Saturday, 3 p.m. onwards, every Saturday, starting from September 7th. Don't miss it. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. get filled with the spirit we hear God's word and we get ministered to and we minister to the first timers by the laying on of hands and great things God is doing people are getting healed people are getting transformed and a lot of things God is doing make it a day God bless you you're watching day of salvation welcome 
back. Hallelujah. You, when you received, you received love in faith. Okay. Now the word of God, as it keeps unveiling God's identity, as you are seeing God's identity through the word, as you are knowing that person, that God, through the word of God, as you are knowing him, getting the whole picture, you now get hold of the picture in your mind, in your heart, in your imagination, you, you, now, you, you are now coming close to the reality of God in you. Hallelujah. You are getting God in you. As you are knowing more and more. So what happens inside your heart is that love seed that got seeded in your heart. As the word is increasing, that love is increasing. Means it is growing. It is growing. It is growing. It's becoming a picture of God. When love grows completely, it forms a picture of God. Hallelujah. The complete image and likeness of God comes in a man when love of God is completely unveiled. That is when God's word is open to you perfectly. I'm not telling you need to know from Genesis to Revelation. No. <laughs> One word can give you revelation of who God is. What did Jesus ask Peter? He said, who do you think I am? And Peter said, you are the son of the living God. The savior. Then Jesus said, you did not get this by flesh and blood. Means by your natural understanding. He said, you got it by my father. Means by revelation. Hallelujah. When he got that revelation, he got the whole picture of the gospel. The message. When he said Savior, means he knows that the Savior has come. He knows salvation has come. And when he says the Son of the living God, not just any God. So he knows from where this comes from. From where Jesus came from. When you understand, he, you can understand the whole gospel. So have you ever read Bible where you understand the whole story of God, not just theoretically, that touch your heart, that change your life. That means you got the picture of God. And if you have the picture of God today, you are close to becoming reality of Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. So the more of the word that is coming, the more love is growing in your heart. But if you truly mean when you are learning, not just learning, learning, learning theory of the word of God. No, he's saying that I know everything in the word of God. I'm ready to preach to everybody or you may be preaching to everybody. Not that. When you are preaching, the more word you know alongside, the more love must be revealed from you. That means the living God is growing in you because God is love. The more word, the more love it keeps growing in us, in our hearts. It must be growing. So as it is growing, it's taking the definite shape of the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God is revealing the shape of God. And when it's coming to fullness, this is our practical experience of walk with God. As we are understanding God's word each day when we read something, when God unveils something, as we are seeing, it's just getting too much. Which is understanding, it's like treasures, digging into treasures that are so valuable. As you keep digging, 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 the utmost value that you see, the identity that you see is the love nature of God. You will see in the whole un unveiling of God's word. Hallelujah. God's word unveils the identity of God where it says God is love. I pray that you will understand this love today. And you may not understand it wholly, wholly, but when you go out, your heart, something happens. Don't just believe in a theoretical Christian living. Believe in practical Christian living, in a life that Jesus came to give. He came to give life, abundant life. And alongside, it goes with love, the nature of it. The Holy Spirit, when he came in us, when you believed in Jesus, he gave us love. When he gives anything... And when he, de when he demands to see, it means it is there in you. That quality is there in you. You can be like that. When you say you are God, you can act, be imitators of God. He knows you can act like God. Hallelujah. That's how God creates everything. In love, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible. God is the express image of perfection. Love. That's why God... When he says, see us in his mind and say, say, let there be this, it is there. Why? That is the power of God's love. Love is a, <laughs> he is a person. As much as he is a person, I can say it's like an ingredient. Everything is created by love. Hallelujah. 
Everything can be created. Your world can be created in love. This is a key. No one understands like this. When you get God's love in your heart, you love God so much that you trust God for anything. It's not just about saying it's a faith or something. This is the raw material called love that manufactures everything for you. Hallelujah. Because when the love grows, you are ascending also. Word of God grows, the love grows. When love grows, I'm ascending. I'm not in the same place where I am. I'm a spiritual being. Something happens to your spirit when every time God's word enters in you. Your identity is changing. The word of God said in Corinthians, it says that uh, each time you keep looking onto the scriptures, you keep looking on the word, it said like, like in a mirror. It said you keep changing from one glory to another. That's what it happens. Today, if you understood any one scripture, you understand anything that I'm saying, you're not going out the same way that you came. In the spiritual realm, you are looking more beautiful. You're looking more shapen. It's like carving, you know, an image. You're getting more better. You're becoming more clearer. Hallelujah. In the realm of the spirit. You may look, you may feel everything is normal. But separate that natural thing from yourself. When you go out... Thinking of your natural things, responsibilities, life, situations, circumstances. When you rule it off, just focus on what you are getting every time. Just when you see, look into that, you are really transforming from one glory to another. Our original identity is spirit. We are a spirit being. And God's word is a spirit. It's not mere words that we write. The original identity of God's word is a spirit. God's word is a person who was called Jesus. You can't separate Jesus from his word. He's a person. Hallelujah. And the, in, and the character of that word, the quality, the character, the nature of that word is love. The nature of the word is love. Anywhere God's word comes, there must be love. Anything is preached, there must be love. Not condemnation, not judgment, not accusation. Anything that comes from devil is always accusation, condemnation, judgmental. God never judges. He came to a sinful world to give his life. He never judged anybody. He forgave everyone. But Satan doesn't like that. When you walk in love, it's a spiritual warfare. I tell you, the greatest weapon you can have is love weapon. Man does not know this key. It's the greatest key, love weapon. And this is the difficultest thing for the man to do, to walk in love. When you live in the natural, you have all the reasons in the world why you cannot love someone. Hallelujah. 